Torah TV. The world is thinking. Liberalism in action operates similarly to science. Uh, you have a theory, such as the idea that uh, ordinary people should be maximally free. You conduct an experiment. The United States is such an experiment. The United States was named by Thomas Paine, and, um, who was a science writer and conceived of as a scientific experiment. Jefferson, among the founders, particularly talked in these terms. If you look at Jefferson's second inaugural address, he says, this experiment of ours with a free press has been sorely tested. Never has a political figure been so vehemently attacked in the press as I've been during the last four years. But not only has the republic survived, my administration has survived, we even got reelected. So, so far the experiment continues to, to work. Many of the other founders use these terms as well. What the American system and other liberal democratic systems do is to incorporate experiment into the way they function so that every election is an experiment, every passage of uh, law is an experiment. What they're not so good at yet is the analyzing the results part. So there's a tendency in all liberal governments to, to enact more laws and can set up more programs than they really s subsequently evaluate properly. And it's often very hard to get rid of programs that aren't working because they have constituencies that benefit from them in one way or another. As a result of this, every liberal democracy in the world is growing as a share of the total wealth in that country. So even though the economies are growing, the share that's being claimed by the government in all these countries is increasing decade by decade. And that should be a concern to anyone other than an outright socialist because, uh, you know, that's a really big government. Do it does present a threat to one's uh, liberties. That's not a conservative opinion, that's a liberal opinion.